summary of two or three words of the Prophet ﷺ is that when these angels will come from the right side, the Salah will stand up. The Salah this person used to offer you will stand up and they will say, the Salah will say, there is no passage from here. That is, we won't let you pass and we won't let you torture this person. Then the angels, when they would come from the foot end, then it will be what? His steps to the mosque would come to rescue. Then when the angels will come from the left side, then zakah, the zakah, the right of Allah on our wealth and our riches and gold and silver the person had paid, the zakah will stand. The zakat will stand on the left and will say there's no passage from this side. And when they will come from the front, then the charity, the charity on top of other than more than zakat, supererogatory money beyond zakat which the person had paid as charity in the path of Allah, that will stop and that will not let them torture the person from the front. And when the angels will then approach or try to approach from the head end, then Quran will stop. Then the Holy Quran will ward them off. The Quran which the person read, the Quran which the person understood, the Quran which the person acted upon, the Quran which the person taught and learnt. The best of you is he who learns and teaches the Quran to others. So this Quran will ward up. They, the Quran will ward up these angels. And then we know that the Surah, Surah, Surah Mulk, Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood, who reports in uh, by Hakim, the Prophet said, Surah Al-Mulk is a hindrance from the torments of grave and Prophet ﷺ used to recite it before he used to go off to bed. So the recitation of Surah Al-Mulk and you know what? Surah Al-Mulk is a, a Surah of Quran which has a very strong and a very clear cut and a very powerful reminder of the message for the preparation and for the fear of hereafter. So a person who is going to narrate or recite Surah Mulk every night before going off to sleep is obviously going to be reciting those words and getting the remembrance of death and having the remembrance of hereafter will obviously be a very big source of reforming, of repentance, of forgiveness and of the desire to prepare or to make provisions for the hereafter. And then we also know that Hazrat Rashid bin Saad ta'ala, who reports in the Sai that the martyrs will be, uh, they will be saved. They will be saved from number one, the torments of the hell and the torments of the grave. So, <coughs> These are the noble deeds which are going to help the people save them from the torments of the grave. And then in the end, I would like to recite the supplications which we learn from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Rabbana waqina azab nari Rabbana waqina azab nari Rabbana waqina azab al-qabri Allahumma anis wahshati kabri Allahumma anis wahshati qabri Allahumma anis wahshati qabri Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min harrin nari wa min adhab al qabri Rabbana Rabbana la tuzih qulubana bada iz khadaytana wahab lana millatun ka rahma inna ka anta al wahab سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين سمامين